Greetings everyone. I humbly go by the name of King Lucas. As you may or may not know, I have been creating guide videos about Terraria Calamity mod and beating bosses in one of the game's hardest difficulties. However, since there have been many changes to the mod, which have rendered my guide series useless, specifically because the main focus of the videos, the Malice mode, has been completely removed, I decided to take a break until I got at least a rough idea as to what I could replace the series with. Besides, it became a time when I needed to focus more on real life. However, I have had enough time to think what to do next, and I decided that it could be fun to make videos about a game that I started actively playing pretty recently. I'm talking about Phasmophobia. Now, this does not mean I will completely abandon Terraria. I am planning to come back to it in the future, I just don't yet know what exactly I should record in it now. Anyway, for those who might not have yet heard about Phasmophobia, it is a ghost hunting horror game, where players investigate abandoned buildings, such as family houses, campsites, or an asylum. These abandoned buildings always house a ghost of an unfortunate soul, who has perished within the perimeters of the building. The player's goal is to explore the investigation area, find the location of where the ghost haunts the place, use special ghost hunting gear to gather evidence in order to determine what type of ghost it is, and then possibly forward this information to ghost busters who would most likely banish the ghost from the place. This game came out around the end of the year 2020 and is still being actively updated. It's gone through a whole lot of changes since its initial release. One of said changes is the fact, that there is now the option to play on a custom difficulty, that you can set up and that will give you rewards depending on how hard you make the game. And with this new customizable difficulty, I have found a great way to gain a lot of in-game money within a pretty short amount of time. And that is exactly what this video is going to be about. I will be showing you how to set up said custom difficulty in a way, so that your money rewards will have a times 20 multiplier. The whole idea of this is about the player going into the place, trying to find the hidden bone and pick it up, and if possible, complete some, if not all of the extra side objectives. This is best done on small maps, such as Tanglewood Drive, because you won't have to search too many rooms in order to find what you're looking for, and for this very reason, I will be playing the first round on this very map. Now, let's start with creating the custom difficulty itself. There are quite a lot of things to configure, so let's get to it. Follow what I'm doing on the screen. If you need to, feel free to pause. Now you can see, that the custom difficulty that we created has a times 20 multiplier. Let's test it out, shall we? It's best to only bring items that work for side objectives, as we won't be needing equipment for gathering evidence, since we set the ghost to not give any sort of evidence to us anyway. If you don't have enough money to buy any of the items, just buy a single lighter for a few bucks and go to the Tanglewood Drive. I sincerely hope you're not afraid to wander places in the dark, since your trusty flashlight will be of no use on this specific journey, as we turned the functionality of these bad boys off. Your only guide through the darkness will be a lit candle. Once you load into the mission, grab a lighter and, depending on your circumstances, another piece of side mission equipment. The type of side mission equipment you will want to take depends entirely on which side objectives you will receive. 
If you didn't bring a candle of your own, don't worry, as there is a candle inside the house itself. The candle is to the left right as you enter the house. Now it's time we look for where the bone is. The lit candle should provide just about enough light to illuminate your surroundings for you, so that you can be efficiently looking for the bone. Be sure to thoroughly check every room, as the bone might sometimes spawn in a hard to spot place. Since we set the game to contain a lot of random open doors at the start of the mission, it's good to always close the door to the room you have already searched, as to remember for later that you've already been there. I heard a door open right here, so I thought I could get the EMF reader objective done from the start, but I didn't quite nail the location of this interaction. Since we are holding a lit candle, we are constantly staying in light and thus we don't lose any sanity, which also means that we cannot get hunted by the ghost, except if it is a special ghost who ignores the normal sanity hunting trace hold. Whenever the ghost interacts with something, such as a door, or it throws an item, try to take a mental note of where the sound came from, because it could help you find the ghost's location for completing certain side objectives. And there it is, the rib cage. When you find the bone, you will want to pick it up for bone evidence. This will award you a small amount of money, which will however get multiplied by the difficulty multiplier. I'm gonna close all the doors in the house, so that it is easier for me to find out where the ghost has opened a door when it does so. The ghost event objective is also an easy one, however it is very much up to luck whether the ghost will do an event. If you're lucky, you will get one to happen without having to force it. If not, I would advise not to stay in the house and just wait for one to happen. You never know what ghost you could be dealing with. Right now my candle extinguished itself. This happens after about two and a half to five minutes of it being lit. I thought that it was blown out by the ghost, so I tried to search for it in the vicinity, however, to no avail. Right here I heard the ghost flick a light switch very close to me, so I took the opportunity to scan the area with the EMF reader and finally got a reading. Since I found the bone and finished the side objective, I am going to leave the house and finish the mission. Before you start up the truck, you can blindly guess what ghost it could have been. It is very unlikely that you will guess correctly, but you never know. You might be lucky and get extra money for the correct guess. Right here you can see that for finding the bone and completing one of the side objectives, we have earned ourselves $20, multiplied by the custom difficulty multiplier, resulting in $400 for roughly 5 minutes of playtime without much of a risk of dying.
I'm going to attempt one more run of this on a different map. This time I will be going in at the Willow Street house, which is also a small map, yet one I am way less familiar with. I'm not entirely sure whether this map has any candles you could steal or not. But just in case, I took my own candle. The process is still the same. Use your candle to illuminate your surroundings and look for the bone. The one doable side objective for this mission is to get the ghost to blow out my candle, which means that I had one more free item slot. I decided to take in a smudge stick, just in case the ghost would turn out to be a demon who would catch me off guard, by using its rare ability to initiate a hunt that ignores your sanity status. The ghost apparently decided that it would attempt to drive the car in the garage, but seemingly it just set off the car alarm. I had to run back to the front door to grab the car keys, then run back to the garage to stop the alarm, because it's very annoying. Unfortunately for me, I was having real trouble with finding the bone in this mission. I searched for it in all the rooms and double-checked in most of them, yet I still didn't find it. I guess I am still kind of new to the Willow Street house. I'm definitely more familiar with the Tanglewood Drive.
At this point I decided that I was gonna leave the bone there. I didn't feel like looking for it for another 10 minutes, and since I already finished my side objective, I just left and ended the mission. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. According to the post-game statistics, the bone was hidden somewhere within the master bedroom. If you noticed the bone when I was searching there, you can let me know down in the comments below. So, that's all for this video. I hope this little money grinding custom difficulty will help you earn a lot of money for your future proper ghost hunts. Thank you so much for watching, if you're new, consider subscribing if you feel like it. You can always remove the subscription if you so choose. This is King Lucas, reporting to see you in the next video.